All right. So today I'm going to talk about how to lower homocysteine. And so let's get started with this quick talk. And uh, I just want to really, a lot of people end up getting this blood work done in, in our clinic and uh, or anywhere. And homocysteine is an important number to lower. The reason why is homocysteine, it's an amino acid that has it in the body and it's intermediate metabolism between methanine and cysteine. So it's actually involved in the in the methylation cycle. So it does increase the risk of atherosclerosis. It does increase the risk of thrombosis, which is blood clotting, and it also increases the risk of cognitive problems. So as I mentioned, it has a big responsibility. And the big responsibility is in the methylation cycle. And when we look at the methylation cycle, it's very complicated. And uh, there's probably some good YouTube articles uh, on the on there out there with uh, methylation cycle, but. If you really want to go in depth with it, I'm not here to go in depth with it. It's just when you look at homocysteine, if you are deficient in homocysteine, you can affect basically energy production. And that's the big takeaway I want to get out of it. So what are the key vitamins involved with it? So vitamin B12, vitamin B9, which is folate, and vitamin B6. So those are the key vitamins involved when lowering homocysteine. And where are they found? So here you can see there are a bunch of food sources that you can see it. So there's folate per 100 milligrams, amount of vitamin C, B6 per 100 uh, grams and vitamin B12 per 100 grams. So you can see here's the list of folate uh, nutrients. Here's the list, uh, um, the list of B6 nutrients. And you can see big six cool, like sockeye, salmon, and uh, really good for you. 90 micro, uh, 0.9. Um, uh, milligrams and then 18.1 micrograms of B12. So you can see all the food sources here. I don't need to go through them with you, but I will pause on this and just go through them with you. So edamame beans, very powerful. Lentils, um, Roman beans, spinach, asparagus, really high in folate. Um, obviously salmon, as I just mentioned, tofu, lean beef, uh, bananas. Now my favorite because it's higher in fructose, but uh, clams, beef liver, Swiss cheese, and natural Greek yogurt. And so what can raise homocysteine? Caffeine, phenofibrates, metformin, the drugs, even niacin can sometimes uh, increase that. But if you're doing all these things and you're still trying to find, okay, well, why is my homocysteine not being lowered? About one in three people have a genetic mutation called an MTHFR genetic SNP. And that can be a problem Therefore, we need to test for that. So we can do a quick genetic test to see, do you have this genetic predisposition? And if you do, then the simple solution is that we just wanna be able to take methylated vitamins. And the methylated vitamins, um, so methylated B12, methylated B6, methylated folic acid, so a methylated folic acid. So those, those are some things that we can do that. And, and obviously you can talk to our clinic as to finding out which the best ones are. Um, again, Diamond Fernandez here with the HeartFit Clinic and uh, look forward to continue to help you live happier, healthier, and longer.